have legal rights, and what I mean by that, legal guardianship over your child, the state does, okay? Thank you, CB's crew, for supporting our Circle Plus. girl is making it through the week hon i hope you guys are having a wonderful week <clears throat> i want to come on here real quickly and talk to you guys about something and also just to give you a couple of clips of clinton interacting with his bcba i think it's important that you see an adult um, still requiring aba or focused behavior therapy however you want to put it um it's working, it's working in his favor. Um, so anyway, I know it doesn't work for everybody, but for me and for him, it is working. So I wanted to come on here and um, talk to you guys about something. I think I showed you a couple of videos ago about the laws in Texas. I don't know about anywhere else, but if you have a child that has special needs and you feel as a parent that that child will not be able to make independent decisions once they become an adult, which is age 18, here in Texas, if you do not have legal rights, and what I mean by that, legal guardianship over your child, the state does, okay? So I'm not gonna turn this around, but what I did this year, this is my renewal for my son's legal guardianship for another year. Each year they renew it, and which is fine, I don't mind that. What I do mind is that they require parents to fill out a application packet when I feel it's not necessary to do so. Let me let Buster out, y'all. Wait just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> so what I do mind is having to fill out the application every year. So um, it's the papers are usually filed, and I don't know anywhere else. I'm just talking about in my state. They're usually filed in the county which you reside in. Say hello to everybody, CB. Say hey. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyway, I forgot last year to fill out the form. So, I got a call and I was asked, where is the application? And I said, I thought I didn't have to fill out an application. But anyway, long story short, you are required to fill out the application. So, what I said to the person on the other end of the phone was the, you know, the county clerk. I said, why not create a form to where it's simple for a parent or a guardian to say no change and just sign it. And I got some pushback. So what I did, I decided not to fill out the application. I was defiant. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about anybody else. Okay, CB, I'll get you some in just a minute. So... I didn't fill it out, but guess what? I got my renewal. I say this to speak on this, and that is you have to learn to fight. You have to learn to fight for your loved one. I'm not on here, I'm not a legal expert, I'm not a doctor, I'm, not, I'm just a parent talking to you guys, okay? It worked for me, okay? I'd given up on it. I thought they come to my house <laughs> and tell me my kid is not living up to standards. We're going to have a problem, a real problem, because I know he does. So, but anyway, I have that. That's the major thing I wanted to share with you guys. And um, I don't know if you guys have small dogs. I know that Mia has all of a sudden become spastic. Okay. So much to the point to where she's into, she's interfering with my sleep. Okay, so all of a sudden, the ceiling fan in my bedroom is something that terrifies her. So the vet suggested that we give her this. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that or not. And they said also to try Benadryl. So just wanted to share those two things with you guys. I hope you're having a great week. And without further ado, I will let you guys tune in to Miss Chelsea, which is my son's BCBA. Oh, let me introduce the vlog.
My name is Debbie. I have a son who's on the autism spectrum. His name is Clinton Bridge. He's 31 years old. I'm a mom that refuses to give up on my child, and I've also decided to document my journey. So welcome if you're new, and if you're subscribed, welcome back. Okay, I hope that if you're new, you become a CB crew as well. So anyway, I am going to show you the clips where Miss Chelsea goes, she comes home in the home and work with him as well as to his job. Um, so here goes. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. My turn. My turn, my turn, my turn. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so silly. I love being silly with CDs. Thank you, buddy. What don't everyone? Green. Me too. How many? You show me. You do. How many? <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Two. One. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. <laughs> Look at that big smile. <laughs> I'm proud of you, sir. Sorry, did I tickle you? Ready? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Who's the best? Who's the best? What? Who's the best? You are. Yeah. You're amazing. Oh, shit. Use my words to ask for what I want. Nice job. I cut my skin and hurt myself trimming my nails. Nice job. You might need a little help. I use my feet to kick the door. Using our feet to kick? Mm. Oh, not a small problem. Not a medium problem. Using our feet to kick is a big problem and it's not safe. When we use our words to ask for a break, that's not a problem. I fell down and I'm bleeding. Well, that's not a small problem. You fell down and bleeding. It's a big problem. You need some help. I don't know what Miss Chelsea is asking me. Yeah, we need a little help. 
I used my hands and hit the wall. Yeah, buddy, a big problem. That's not safe. I used a scary voice. A scary voice? Hello. That's right. Oh. I grab friend's shirt to scare them. Look, I grab a friend's shirt to scare them. Look at me. I grab a friend's shirt. Good job. That's right. And there is traffic and no shortcut. Is that a big problem? No. That's just a small problem. Traffic happens. Miss Chelsea is sick and there's no session. Is that a big problem if Miss Chelsea is sick? No. No. If Miss Chelsea is sick, is that a medium problem? It's just a small problem. I use my words and ask for space. You use your words nicely? Yeah, that's not a problem. That's expected. Buster is sitting on the couch quietly. That is perfect, buddy. That's not a problem when he's sitting on the couch nicely. Buster barks at me. you need some help and that happens when I leave a room and tell, I tell my friends where I am going that's right buddy it's not a problem I cannot untie my shoes if you, your shoes are stuck that's right, buddy. It's a medium problem. You might need a little help. I cannot find my wallet. Mm. Not a small and not a big problem. It's a medium problem. We might need to ask for some help. There's traffic and we are moving slow. Is that a big problem? No, it's not a problem. I drop an apple on the floor. Hey, you dropped an apple? Is that a big problem? No. No, but that's just a small problem. I turn around and look behind me in the car. Yeah, it's not safe when we're turning around. Way to go, buddy. Amazing. Game winner dream wins is what everyone is doing. Yelling in the class is unexpected. Yelling at a football game is unexpected. Is expected. Yeah, because we all yell at football games. We don't yell in class or big. Excuse me. Did you chew it? I chewed it. Let's read it out loud. Big. Expected behavior is what you see me happen like a routine or a rules in the classroom. Expected behavior makes other people feel good. Expected behavior might make you feel good about yourself. Expected behavior is usually kind, helpful, and respectful. Unexpected behavior. 
freaking community. Because when someone makes a choice that doesn't usually happen at that time or place, unexpected behavior might happen if you feel upset or confused. Unexpected behavior might make other people mad or sad. Unexpected behavior might be respectful to others and kind or useful. Unusual. Different. And then Sue found my water cap from the basket. So I only have her the holiday gift to have to. So, that was the other one. The bridge, the goodies, the bridge was to that. My friend got this popcorn at the movie and laughed out loud. During the movie. Yeah. So if our friend dropped popcorn, we didn't expect it. I wanted to get comfortable, so I sat underneath my desk at work. Do we sit under our desk? No. So that would be? Yes. Expected. Or sitting under desk would be sitting under it? Yes. Do we sit under our desk at work? No. So that is? Unexpected.